Hello, it's June 28, 2014, and I'm doing a math babbler bit. Uh, today's date in month day format is 6 slash 28. Switch the slash to a dot, you get 6.28. 6.28 is approximately equal to 2 pi. Consequently, June 28th is celebrated as 2 pi day. So we're just going to play around here a little bit. If I take the mathematical constant pi and truncate it to four decimal digits, we get 3.1415. If I round that to the nearest hundredth, we get 3.14 pi. If I take 3.1415 times it by two, we get the decimal number 6.2830. If I round 6.2830 to the nearest hundredth, we get 6.28, two pi. I made the following observation. The improper fraction 22 over 7, frequently used to approximate pi, is an arithmetic expression, 22 divided by 7. If we evaluate that, it approximately equal to 3.1429 blah blah blah. If I take 3.1429, round it to the nearest hundredth, we get 3.14 pi. If I take the improper fraction 22 over 7 and times it by 2, we get approximately 6.2857 blah blah blah. And if I take 6.2857, round it to the nearest hundredth, we get 6.29. Well, every year on July 22nd, uh, July being month number seven, uh, that day is treated as pi approximation day. Uh, and that's especially true in those parts of the world that use the day-month formatted date, because if you use the day-month formatted date, it's 22 slash seven. So anyway, I guess tomorrow could be a two pi approximation day if we use that infamous improper fraction 22 over 7 to approximate pi. Uh, there are people that are wanting to uh, take the Greek character tau and have it equal 2 pi. In other words, tau is equal to 1 pi plus 1 pi. 1 pi plus 1 pi is 2 pi. And so uh, June 28th is also considered tau day. And uh, my t-shirt has an inequality on it that basically says that tau is greater than pi. And that's true. So I think that's all I wanted to get said in this math babbler bit and movie.